All right, guys. It's only worth one shot in three, two, one. Drop the disc. There he is, there he is. Hit him with the potion slowness. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him with the potion slowness. Hey, what's up, guys? EY Stream here, and today we're going to be attempting a very dangerous technique that a fan sent me from the dark web. That's right, guys. This technique entails how to supposedly tame Hero Brian and get him on our side, and even how to turn Hero Brian into your very own personal defender and bodyguard. But here's the thing. One, it's from the dark web. Two, when I messaged this fan back, asking if they'd ever tried it or if it had even worked for them, I got no response. And that only tells me one thing. Things could go very, very wrong in today's video. And I want to see whether or not this works just as much as you guys. So please help me out right now, guys. We need to increase the luck on today's video by leaving a like. One like equals one luck. We're going for 10,000 likes to increase the luck of us actually taming Hero Brian today, guys. And as always, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to ling ding ding for more crazy content like this where I am literally risking my computer for you guys. But first, before we can even tame a friendly hero, Brian. Can we even call it that? I don't know. Before we can do that, we must first find the not so friendly, very hostile, actually lethal, real hero, Brian. Now, I did a bit of research and I found a bunch of other YouTubers claiming that in this seed, there apparently is a very high chance of finding Hero Brian and saying that this world is legit. Now, I don't know if that's really true or not, but there's only one way to find out, and the seed is Hero Brian, just like that, no capital H. Now, you guys can go ahead and play along with me at home and try this out for yourselves, but honestly, I care for you guys and I don't want anything going wrong, so I don't recommend it. It could put a virus on your computer or something. I honestly do not know. After all, it is from the dark web and we have no idea what the consequences are going to be. Now, immediately, guys, I want to put myself in creative mode so that we're safe, but I think Hero Brian is smarter than that. And if we are in creative and we're invincible, he probably won't reveal himself to us. So we're gonna stick in survival here, guys. However, in case something goes very, very wrong, we need to be able to defend ourselves immediately. I don't want to die in today's video. So we're going to go ahead and come down and activate cheats here, guys. So that way, if need be, we can do slash game mode creative and switch in really, really quickly. But hopefully it won't come down to that. I'm also going to go ahead and turn off multiplayer so you guys can see no one else is joining on my world. This isn't like made up. And as you guys can see, I've got no resource packs and I've also got no behavior packs whatsoever. So let's go ahead and create this world. All right, here we go, guys. Welcome to the Hero Brian seed itself. Now, honestly, guys, I've never opened up this seed for myself before, so I don't really know what to expect. Now, apparently, Hero Brian only appears in this seed at nighttime, so we definitely have a bit of time to wait before this sun goes from here all the way over the sky and behind that mountain before we even have a chance of spotting Hero Brian. But until then, I think we should definitely take a look around this scene and see if we can spot anything out of the ordinary, anything unusual, things you wouldn't spot in normal Minecraft because that will be the first indicator whether or not this seed is legit. And if it is, if we can find Hero Brian, I will show you guys the technique that this fan sent me on the dark web to how to tame Hero Brian himself. So I, I reckon, guys, we just have to look around, see whether we can find anything at all. Now, I reckon we can't really go ahead and explore this seed in all different directions, especially while we're in survival. We just don't have that kind of maneuverability. So I think we're just gonna pick this one direction. I'm gonna head in this direction and see whether we can find anything strange, anything unusual. And guys, of 
obviously, of course, if you guys spot anything, you need to let me know. I need you guys to have your eyes open and peeled, looking around, seeing whether you can spot anything. Because obviously, I'm looking, guys, but I might miss something. So I need every single one of you to be keeping your eyes out. Crosses, unusual Minecraft things, glitches, things that just don't appear in the normal game. I need you guys to keep an eye out for. See whether you can even spot here or by whether there's just anything unusual, a glitch, something that doesn't normally spawn in the world. Anything, guys, anything at all that might be out of the ordinary. If you spot anything, you need to let me know immediately, guys, in the comments down below. But while we are looking, guys, for those of you who don't know about Herobrine, look, honestly, I don't know what you're doing. If you've never heard of Herobrine, you must be living under some kind of rock. He is basically the oldest entity known to exist in Minecraft. Now, there are thousands of rumors and, and theories about where he originated from, how he came to be, what he means, and what kind of damage he can do. But, oh, whoa. Okay, it's just a fallen log. I thought for a minute, guys, there might have been... Wait, is that a cross down there? No, okay. This Minecraft world does seem to be pretty normal, guys. I definitely can't see anything out of the ordinary. Wait. I think I see some wood over there. Is that a village? We should definitely go check that out there, guys. Anyway, Hero Brian, the most popular theory for him is that he is Notch's dead brother, a ghost, and he's come back to haunt Notch's game, obviously, which is Minecraft here, guys. He's come back to haunt it, and he's like in virus form. There's so many different things, guys, but wait a minute. Is this an abandoned village? Okay, this is a bit strange, guys. Now, for those of you who know my channel and have followed it, you might think abandoned villages are normal, but no. I've had a lot of bad experiences with abandoned villages. These things are never normal, guys. They, there's something cursed about them, something creepy, and oh, just being here is giving me tingles down my spine. For this seed to have a cursed village, well, and I'm, oh, okay, there's a zombie in there. For this village to have an abandoned village so near the spawn, that's not normal. These things are supposed to spawn thousands, if not tens of thousands of blocks away from spawn. And having one here so near spawn is... This is definitely quite strange, guys. <laughs> I don't like this at all. This is really weird, guys. Let's kind of explore this village a bit here, guys. Seeing whether we can spawn anything. What time is it? Okay, so it's like midday now. We still have a bit longer before that sun goes ahead and sets. And we hit nighttime, which is supposedly where we might be able to spot Hero Brian in the sea. But let's have a look around this abandoned village, guys. There oh, flip! Oh, flip! Okay. Oh, my goodness, guys. I don't know how. I did not see him in there. Okay. I need to be a bit more careful. We need to spot anything strange, unusual, out of the ordinary. There's definitely zombie villages here. So this place is not totally abandoned, which is a bit safer for me. For those of you guys who've seen my scary seed of survival, we have definitely seen a lot of strange seeds with abandoned villages, and we've seen a lot of strange entities. For those of you guys who haven't seen those videos before, I'd highly recommend you guys checking those out, because I've seen some weird stuff in Minecraft, guys. We've got some bees here. They don't seem to mind that this place is totally abandoned here. Fascinating, guys. Look, this village comes, like, out... Wait a minute. Do you guys see that in the water? Is that just kelp? I don't know, guys. Normally, kelp, you can actually see flowing. But that's just literal, like... Square bl Do those fish just appear there? Strange. This is really weird, guys. I thought I just saw, like, fish appear out of nothing, but maybe I'm just going crazy. But normally, when you see kelp, you can see it flowing, guys, but these are just, like, straight-up pillars? Columns? I don't know. The whole thing is really weird to me here, guys. This village is... I don't know. The village seems to be just a normal abandoned village. I'm, we're looking around. I don't see, like, crosses. I, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. And I think it's okay. I mean, what else is going on here? There's, like, a cave system down here. There's nothing too crazy or out of the ordinary at all here, guys. Is there anything in here? I mean, we've got some pretty basic loot here. Some bread, an emerald, tunic. Oh, oh, my God. Oh my goodness, guys, because I'm so on edge thinking that we might see Hero Brian just falling there gave me a literal heart attack. Maybe if there's anything down here. I think this is. Oh! Is this a dead end? I don't know, guys. It's kind of hard to see. No, this is. Okay, that's definitely a dead end here, guys. There's nothing down here at all. Strange. And I just don't see anything out of the ordinary. Honestly, guys, I'm beginning to doubt whether any of these YouTubers had 
any legitimate, le like, legitimacy. Perhaps the fan who sent me this seed, uh, not this seed, who sent me this technique was just trolling with me and these YouTubers, it's a fake seed, I don't know. But then again, we have to wait till night and that's just gonna take a while, so... Guys, I'm just going to sit here and just wait until night. I'll see you guys when the sun is about to set. All right, folks, as you can see, the sun is coming down slowly. It won't be long now before the night sets upon us. And when it does, we shall be ready. First off, we're going to look around this abandoned village just one more time to see if there's anything that has changed, whether Herobrine is hiding here at night, guys. Because this is honestly the only place I'd expect him to appear. However, he could be out in the wilderness. So we're going to check back out there as well and see whether this seed is legit. And if it is, we're going to attempt to tame Herobrine himself. But there are actually a few things we're going to need to do that. You see, the technique I was sent by the fan actually outlined some items to use. So we're going to switch into creative real quick, you guys. Switch into creative and grab said items. Now, the first of those was disc 11, the supposedly cursed disc of Minecraft. Some even say that the man running in the soundtrack of this disc is Herobrine himself. You guys should listen to this if you haven't already. It is very strange and it's even broken. Why did Mojang add this to game? I don't know, but apparently it also attracts Herobrine. The other thing we're going to need is potions of slowness to go ahead and s basically slow down Herobrine when we see him so that we can stop him in his tracks and tame him. Otherwise, he basically runs away too quickly. So we're going to need those. I'm gonna grab a few just in case we miss him the first time, guys. Because knowing me, that is something I would do. And finally, we're going to need a bunch of diamonds. Once we've once we've attracted him with the music disc, we need to slow him down with the potion, and then we need to give him the diamonds apparently to tame. Now it is going to be nighttime, so to defend myself, I'm also going to grab a diamond sword, and just in case, we'll also grab a totem of undying. Oh, and maybe some armor. I think that would definitely be a good idea. So we'll go ahead and grab ourselves some diamond armor just in case. All right, what time? Oh, guys, the moon's rising! Quick, I need to switch out of creative. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm back in. Some Survival, guys. Okay. Night is here. The sun has set, guys. The moon is right. It's a full moon. Okay. Guys, I may not have thought this seed was cursed before, but getting a full moon on the first night in the world is kind of unusual. Like, that is not normal at all. Okay. All right. Calm down. Whew. Guys, I'm getting chills, guys. Oh, now I'm getting a really bad vibe about this. Uh. Okay. Stick to the mission. We need to find Herobrine and we need to tame him. Okay. First off, let's retrace our steps around this village, guys. Seeing whether anything has changed, anything out of the ordinary at all. And again, guys, if you spot anything, you need to let me know immediately. Now, when we do spot him, things are going to have to move pretty quickly. We basically need to hit him with the potion of slowness and then give him the diamonds. Now, the disc will only work if we know he's in this world. And I don't really want to just, you know, flip around the disc and lose it because we can't switch to creative anymore. Because if we do, Herobrine, if he is here, will know we're in creative and he's not going to reveal himself to us. Okay, nothing's changed in here, guys. Anything in this house? Nope. Nothing at all. I don't know, guys. If he's not here, I... I I, I kind of doubt he would even be in the wilderness. Like, at least to me, this right here is the most cursed area in Minecraft, at least from my own personal experiences. But then again, we really haven't seen anything out of the order. <gasps> oh my... Guys, even just the rain starting is jumping me out of my heart, guys. I'm so, like, on edge looking for anything strange. But this atmosphere, guys, first the full moon, then now the rain. It's just all too coincidental on the first night as well. I get the feeling that perhaps there is something strange about the seed, but even if there is, that's a good thing. We need to find Herobrine because we want to tame him. But at the same time, I don't know. I think it's a good thing, guys. This is really creeping me out. Then again, still nothing strange or out of the ordinary at all. Wait. No. Did you guys see that? I, I am so certain I saw for a split second. I saw Herobrine right there for an absolute split second. I saw him and then there was like a smoke puff and then he vanished. We need to get, we need to get onto one of these trees. That means if he's vanished, surely he can't be too far away. Maybe he like teleported somewhere or something. Can we, let me get up here. We need to, we need to look around guys. Do you see anything? Anything at all? I am, am I crazy? Am I going, maybe I'm just, maybe guys I'm just so on edge that I'm seeing things right now. But guys, I need you to let me know in the comments down below. Did you see Herobrine or not? I am so certain I saw him. But I don't see him at all anymore. He's literally vanished. Wait, is that him? No, that's a witch. Oh my. Good. No, I def- Guys, I'm not- 
Am I seeing things? I honestly don't know anymore. I thought I saw it. I thought I saw Hero Brian. Is he in this world? Look around, look around. Okay, guys. Surely, if he, if he was here, perhaps we can see him somewhere else? I don't know, we need to keep looking here, guys. Maybe over here somewhere? Do you see him? I just see other normal creepers and mobs, guys. It's not what I want. I need to see. I should have just thrown this. Oh, I should have thrown the splash potion of slowness, guys. That's what I should have done the minute I saw him. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't even know if I did see him. I'm beginning to think I was just an absolute lunatic and I was going crazy because even now while I'm looking for him, guys, I just don't see him at all. Whoa. This is one flipping humongous ravine. Are you guys seeing this? Holy flip. That's huge. My goodness. Okay, we're going to keep looking around here, guys. We, I saw him. I, I'm so certain I did. I, oh, no. Wait. Guys, this tree, it just has no leaves. Okay. I don't know how well you guys know Herobrine lore, but basically, in worlds that Herobrine is in, trees randomly, like, he will just take the leaves off trees. Now... I know you guys might think I'm just making that up now because it's convenient because I've seen one, but literally, no, like, no kidding you. If you guys Google it up right now, Hero Brian is known to remove the leaves from trees. Trees do not spawn like this naturally in your Minecraft world. Okay, he's definitely got to be around here somewhere, guys. I'm, I'm not even kidding you. I'm so certain I saw him the first time, and now that I've seen that tree with absolutely no leaves, my suspicions are confirmed. He's got to be out here somewhere, guys. He's got to be, he has to be, he has, okay, I've just got to have this potion of slowness ready to go. If we spot him one more time, we just got to toss this right at him, guys. Come on, we've got to find him, we've got to find him. If we can hit him with this potion of slowness, we can attempt to tame him for ourselves, guys. Nowhere at all, are you kidding me? That tree had no leap. Only Hero Brian could have done that. That does not occur, oh, I almost fell down there. Oh, that's bad, that's bad. Down there, down there! Do you guys see that? In the lava! I am so, I am so certain that was Hero. I saw him just for a split second. He was in the water and then he like floated into the lava there, guys. He was staring at us with his, with his white eyes. He was literally looking at us. And then he just went into the lava and disappeared. He wasn't even burning. He wasn't even taking fire damage. <gasps> Redstone to- No! Guys, wait. Editor, right now, when you are editing this clip, can you put a flashback to when we were looking down at this ravine? Because literally, I am so certain we looked down this ravine just like 10 seconds ago, and there were no redstone torches there. Now, another thing about Hero Brian Law is that he places down redstone torches, and there's literally some right there as well. I've, I'm, I'm certain I saw him. There's the redstone torches. There's that wee tree. Random leads? Wasn't there a wandering trader here a second ago? I think he just... Hero Brian killed the wandering... Hero Brian is in the seed. Okay, okay. I need to come down. I need to come down. Hero Brian is in this world, guys. There is like I do not doubt it for a second now. But now that we know he's here, we need to find him. We need to hit him with this potion of slowness. Because when we do... Another tree without leaves. That tree had leaves before, guys. I am actually not kidding with you right now. You guys can rewind the video. You know what? You know what? Just rewind the video and... Have a look, guys. That tree had leaves before. I am certain of it. He is in this world. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We've, we know he's down here. We've tracked him down to this world. We need to hit him with this potion of slowness. The other thing that Hero Brian's known to do is in deserts, making weird little pyramids of sand here, guys. But because there's no deserts nearby, it's kind of hard to see whether or not um, we've got any pyramids appearing. But I still don't. This was, the, this was like the house we originally saw him in. Do you guys see anything out of the ordinary in here? No. Okay. I saw him. He was definitely in that ravine, at least for like a split second, guys. I saw him. I saw him. I promise you guys, he was down there. Around here? No. Oh my goodness. I'm so certain he is in this world right now, guys. Okay. Guys, I still can't seem to find him, but there was one other thing we could try. The music disc. This thing is supposedly supposed to attract Hero Brian himself. Once you know he's in the world, the, the, the thing the fan that sent me, guys, is basically once you can determine he is definitely in your world, you want to chuck this disc down on the ground and supposedly he will just appear. He will come and take this disc 11 because he's attracted to it, guys. And once he does that, we need to toss the potion of slowness at him. All right, guys. It's only worth one shot. In three, two, one, drop the disc. There he is, there he is. Hit him with the potion of slowness. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him. 
him with the potion slowness. Okay, he's slow now, guys. He's coming towards us, but he's slow. He's slow, slow. Okay, we've got to table with the dive. Oh, I think we did it. Yo, no way. Is he going to hurt us now? No. We did it. <laughs> no way this method worked. Wait, he's coming towards us. He's not trying to kill us anymore. He's friendly. We just... No way. No way. I was so worried I was going to stuff that up. We chucked down the disc. He appeared. He took the disc from us, guys. We hit him with the potion of slowness. He started running at us with like his arms like in the zombie formation as if trying to kill us. We gave him the diamond and then suddenly we saw that there was like hearts for a split second. I think we tamed him. Like, guys, look, when I click on him, I can access his inventory. We did it. It works. No way. Holy flip, it works. It works. It actually works. Okay, now that he's tamed and he's here. Wait, wait, we got a test. Is he tamed? Will he follow us? Let's see, let's see. Yes, he follows us, guys. Look. We have our very own personal hero, Brian Bodyguard. No way. Okay, so now that he's here and he's not leaving us, we should be able to switch into creative and, like, it shouldn't affect him at all. He's still totally visible. He's not running away. He's just still following us. We've done it. Okay, let's get rid of this creepy ass rain here, guys, because I don't like this bad atmosphere. We've got it. We've got our very own Hero Brian. No way. Okay, now. I, I can't believe it. We tamed Hero Brian himself. Well, what are those weird particles around him? Okay, I don't know what those particles are, but basically, guys, now that we've tamed him, I want to show you a few things that my fans said that we could do. And I just want to test them out for myself and see whether or not it's true. Now, the first thing here, guys, is he apparently will defend you from any other hostile mobs. So if we go ahead here, guys. And we get this guy to hit me. Oh, wait, I'm not. I'm not in survival. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we get this guy to hit us. Will Hero Brian attack him? Yo, Hero Brian will attack him. Look at that. Hero Brian just. Look, the, the zombie villager won't even attack him because Hero Brian is supposed to be a hostile mob. So the zombie villager doesn't even see Hero Brian as a threat. And G flipping G, that is one point to Hero Brian. No points for the zombie villager. So that's the crazy thing, guys. Hero Brian can literally attack any mob for you and protect you from anything whatsoever and nothing will even attack him back because at least to the best of its code of its knowledge, Hero Brian is also supposed to be hostile and these mobs, spiders, creepers, whatever, will think that Hero Brian is on their side but little do they know he's actually on our side. On top of that, guys, there's that thing which you guys probably noticed earlier. When you go ahead and click on Hero Brian, he will now share his inventory with you because you've shared it because you have tamed him, guys. And just like any other normal, uh, any other normal player, he has his own inventory because after all, he is supposedly Notch's dead brother and he will hold items for you and you can share his inventory with him. Basically, he's like a portable chest that comes along with you anywhere. A chest that just has huge muscles, white eyes and will take out anything in his path. Anyways, I would call today a success. I mean, we found Herobrine, we didn't die somehow, and then we were even able to lure him into our trap and tame him, discovering that he will act as our bodyguard and we can even you know, use his inventory as actual storage space. However, I still feel like there is so much more about this friendly Herobrine that we don't know yet. And so I want to spend some more time kind of investigating, figuring out what's going on with him. And guys, I might even make another video. So if you guys want to see a second video where we look at what other things friendly Herobrine can do, we might even find out some of his secret Herobrine abilities, like being able to teleport those redstone torches, those leaves, seeing how he can do that, and whether he will do that for us guys, and even help us out with other tasks. If you want to see that video, I will do some more research. Let me know in the comments down below and drop a like. But anyway, guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of today's video. Oh, look, he's even joined us for the outro, guys. And until next time, guys, anyway, stream and my good bro. Wait, was that two of them? Oh, flip! What is going on? What is this guy? He's trying to kill us, mate! What is going on, guys? Ah!